When the dust settles, you don't want it to be inside your truck cap camper. So how do we expel those little demon particles of dust? Well, today we are going to take a look at a few of the ways I keep my truck cap camper clean as a whistle. First, let's take a look at all the areas dust can find its way in. The biggest culprit is the truck bed. Let's face it, truck beds were not designed to live in. When a truck is used the way a truck was designed to be used, you get all kinds of dirt and debris in it, not to mention water. If they were designed to be watertight, you'd be driving around with a swimming pool in the bed. While this may be popular at a tailgate party, most would prefer that the bed has adequate drainage to keep whatever you are hauling dry. Even if we add a truck cap, those gaps remain. So let's take a look at how I dealt with all of the gaps and holes in the truck bed. When designing my camper build, I did not want to make any penetrations into the truck body. So I removed the large plugs at the front of the truck bed and ran my drain lines out the holes. I then sealed around them using waterproof Gorilla Tape. I used the holes located at the left and right rear of the bed close to the tailgate for running an electrical cord and the air vent for my fresh water tank. Any remaining holes I sealed up as well. Once sealed, I lined the inside of the camper walls with a layer of Havelock wool insulation and placed rubber seals around any openings. The tailgate does not seal against the truck bed at all. This is probably where the majority of road dirt finds its way into the camper. To minimize this, I placed a weather seal all along the base of the floor of my camper build. This helps create a seal for the majority of the tailgate and has stuck very well without coming loose. To deal with the curvature of the sides of the tailgate, I created inserts that are placed around the existing bumpers that create a seal once the tailgate is closed. You will have to experiment a bit with different material to find what works best for your particular truck. The goal is to not see any sunlight shining in around the tailgate from inside the truck cap. These will eventually wear out due to the constant opening and closing of the tailgate, so keeping some extra material around is recommended. As you can see here, I've cut out three different examples using different materials. Once the truck bed is sealed up, it is best to make sure that you check the seals on other openings such as windows, access doors, and fans, and ensure that they are performing as they should. One thing to note, while traveling down the road, keep the windows and fans closed tight, unless you want to be able to write messages in the dust that settles on absolutely everything. Lastly, I created a separate carpeted space for dirty shoes to be placed in when entering the camper. This helps tremendously in keeping dirt off of the floor. It is inevitable that dirt will find its way in, but by utilizing some of these methods, you'll find yourself cleaning less and enjoying camping in your truck cap camper. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to the channel, we make all kinds of truck camping content, like this one right here. I hope you found this video helpful, and we sure would be blessed if you'd join us on our camping adventures. Until next time, Godspeed.